In 1979, Fritz von Erich was a professional wrestler who always dreamed of winning the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. In a scene from the movie depicting the past, when he comes out of wrestling, he meets his wife and two sons, Kevin and David. He has a surprise for them and has bought a beautiful car, but his wife Doris is upset and says, We can't afford to own a house after buying this, but Fritz says we can. We just have to be patient. When we're the best at everything, nothing bad will happen to us. He is now retired and owns the World Class Championship Wrestling Company, or WCCW for short. Fritz is the father of five children, named Jack, JR, who passed away in childhood, then Kevin and David, both wrestlers who compete in WCCW matches. His next son is Kerry, who is a talented discus thrower. The youngest son, Mike, is also musically inclined and has a gentle and artistic spirit. His oldest son, Kevin, is now the heavyweight champion of Texas and often competes in tag team matches with his brother, David. If you enjoy our content, please support us by subscribing or liking so we can recap more films for you. One night, when the fans were waiting to get an autograph from Kevin, he met a girl named Pam. They quickly hit it off and started a romantic relationship. One day, while having dinner date in a restaurant, Kevin explained to Pam that his family had a curse. He said, I don't believe in superstitions, but everyone says that my older brother, who passed away in childhood, was a victim of this curse, and my father wants to change our family name from Von Erich to Adkisson because of this curse. Our family has suffered from consecutive tragedies for generations. Pam then embraces him and expresses her sympathy. One night, Fritz von Erich tells his son, Kevin, I've booked Harley Race, the world heavyweight champion, for a match, and you can seize this opportunity to showcase yourself in a non-title match and then earn the right to fight the world champion. Kevin fulfills the necessary conditions for the fight against Harley Race. He then fights him in the ring, and after a few moves, Harley Race throws him out of the ring with a vertical suplex. Kevin lands hard on the ground but struggles to get up as the referee counts to nine, but eventually he makes it. During the continuing fight, Harley Race deliberately strikes Kevin in the eye. When the referee warns him, he shoves the referee and gets disqualified. As a result, Kevin Von Erich is declared the winner, but without a pinfall or submission. At that moment, David comes in and throws Harley Race out of the ring, defending his brother and expresses his embarrassment over the microphone. Fritz von Erich becomes disheartened that his son couldn't make it to the ring on time and stand on his own feet, although he thanks David for his actions and expresses his pride in him, saying, I will make sure to arrange better promos for you, my son. When America Boycott 1980 Summer Olympics by Jimmy Carter's order shattered all of Kerry's hopes for winning the championship, left him feeling upset and sad, returning home disappointed after all his efforts to winning the Olympics. His family welcomed him back, trying to give him hope. In the next scene, Mike tells his family that he plans to go to a college party in Dallas to hold a music concert and sing to make some money, but his parents disagree, despite their opposition. His brothers and Pam support Mike, sneaking out at night to attend the desired party so he can make it to his concert. The rest of the boys have a great time. Kevin and Pam leave the party and have sex in the car, even though Kevin has never had sexual relations with anyone before. Later, Fritz tells his son Kerry that he had dreamed of Olympic heroism for him, and he never wanted his sons to join his profession. He always wanted them to study and make something of themselves. He mentioned that he was wrestling just to provide for the family and for a living. He also mentions that just as he lost his dream of American football, Kerry also lost his dream of Olympic glory. He urges Kerry to join wrestling and support his brothers. Inspired, Kerry agrees, embarks on rigorous training, competes in various matches, and sometimes takes a beating. In 1983, the three brothers, Kevin, Kerry and David, succeed in defeating the fabulous Freebirds in a six-man tag team match and become the six-man tag team champions. Fritz von Erich, alongside his sons, declares proudly in the ring that all his sons will become champions. He favours David over Kevin to prepare for a match against the current world heavyweight champion, Ric Flair at that time. 
Later, in the locker room, he expresses his desire to bring the heavyweight championship home and believes that with his sons he can now achieve this goal. Finally, Kevin is getting married to Pam and all the brothers are dancing beautifully alongside the newlywed, but when Kevin heads to the bathroom, he realises that his brother David is not feeling well and has some sort of disease and, and throws up blood. He talks to David, asking why he hasn't seen a doctor, thinking that the pressure from so many fights might have taken a toll on him. However, David brushes it off, saying it's nothing serious and he'll be fine soon. Then Kevin tells his brother about Pam being pregnant, and that's why they hurried the wedding. David is overjoyed for his brother. Sometime later, when Kevin comes home, he sees his father looking sad and learns that David has passed away due to a severe illness, inflammation of the intestine, while he was in Japan for a wrestling tour. At the memorial, Fritz tells them not to cry because it was God's will to take him away from them, and at 25, he lived a life like 75 years old with his all glories. In the next scene, Fritz is sitting with Kerry, Mike and Kevin. Kerry volunteers to fight against Ric Flair in place of David for his legacy. When Kevin and Kerry discuss this, their father suggests tossing a coin, and if it's heads, Kerry fights, but if it's tails, Kevin steps into the ring. Moving forward, we see Kerry getting ready to face Ric Flair. He manages to defeat the world champion and brings home the belt. Kevin congratulates him, but he is still not in a good emotional state due to losing his brother. He rides off on his motorcycle with a heavy heart and unfortunately meets with an accident in which he loses his leg. In the next scene, Kevin and Pam become proud parents of their first child, naming him Ross, while Kevin officially changes his son's last name to Adkisson due to the fears of the family curse. Kevin then begins to train his younger brother, Mike, so he can fight in Kerry's absence, but during one of the training matches, Mike falls and injures his shoulders badly. The doctors announce that he has experienced a rare phenomenon called toxic shock during shoulder surgery, putting him into a coma. Kevin calls his wife in a sorrowful state, feeling as if the family curse is prevailing over them. However, his wife reassures him, saying that it's not his fault. Perhaps their father is to blame for pressuring Mike. Finally, Mike is rescued from the coma, but he suffers severe brain damage, affecting his speech. In a press conference, he tells everyone that he will wrestle again soon. Continuing on, the three brothers are seen in a state of deep despair. Kevin doesn't seem to be doing well inside the ring and feels hopeless. Kerry is deeply saddened by losing his leg and not being able to return to the ring. He even gets into a heated argument with Kevin, feeling like he's the only one left in the ring and is resentful. But Kevin grabs him and gives him hope. Next, we see Mike telling his mother that everyone expects him to fight well, but he's not David and he can't fill in for him. He takes some pills and attempts suicide, writing a letter apologizing for causing pain, but saying he's going somewhere better. At Mike's ceremony, Kevin, tormented by the loss of his brothers, leaves Pam and his newborn son, Marshall, and trains hard alone inside the ring, getting ready for a heavyweight championship match with Ric Flair. Then he faces Flair and vents some of his frustration on him, using the signature move, the iron claw, but Flair manages to grab the ring ropes. Despite this, Kevin continues to use the move and the referee is forced to disqualify him. He's upset that he couldn't take the belt from Flair, but Flair tells him he did great. Time passes and we see Kevin guiding his kids from the school bus to their home. Later at home, Pam returns from work and joins them. As the story continues, we find out that Fritz von Erich has handed over the management of WCCW to Kevin. But things are not looking good for the company, especially since Kerry has left for WWF despite his artificial foot, causing a decline in momentum for Fritz's company. He then tells his father that he intends to sell the company because it's impossible to bounce back to its prime, but his father disagrees with him. On Christmas Eve, Kerry returns home with his girlfriend after winning the WWF championship belt. He then gifts his father a gun, but he gets upset when Fritz doesn't shoot it and merely adds it to his collection. That night passes, and the next morning, 
Kerry calls Kevin and tells him that he feels hopeless and can't bear life anymore. He says, I'm cursed and I want to die. Kevin offers to come to him, but Kerry abruptly hangs up the phone. Kevin calls his father and tells him to look after Kerry, but his father insists it's their issue to resolve. Kevin goes home and frantically looks for his brother. Suddenly, he discovers his lifeless body, shot with the gun he had bought for Fritz. Distraught, he confronts his father, blaming him and attempting to strangle him, but is unable to go through with it. Kevin then cradles his brother's lifeless body and lays it on the dining table in their house. In that moment, he envisions seeing his brothers, Kerry, healthy and happy, and David and Mike. Kerry then turns to Jack Jr., who reveals himself, and then they are embracing each other. It's a dream that plays in Kevin's mind. In the next scene, Fritz's wife isn't cooking and says she's not hungry, instead immersing herself in painting. In the last scene, however, Kevin is seen embracing his wife, and it seems Pam is pregnant again as their children join them. Kevin looks into the distance, teary-eyed and filled with sadness, wishing to see his brothers again. The kids realize this and tell him it's okay to cry. He then tells his children, I used to have brothers, but now I don't. It makes me very sad. Ross and Marshall tell their father, We'll be your brothers. The film ends as Kevin happily plays with them. Thanks for watching to the end. Folks, if you enjoy this content, Make sure to like us, subscribe and share us to your beloved ones.